What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're focusing on the 2021 Lions Tour that happens in South Africa next year which should be an interesting tournament. I mean, it's so much history, so much excitement in this tournament but unfortunately now it's been put in doubt uh, due to the fact of this COVID-19 pandemic. All four nations are fighting hard in order to stay afloat and are needing the international games back so that they can make up the money lost. We've got six nations currently postponed and on hold or cancelled. We don't even know what the heck's going to go on or if it is even going to come back this year. So it's a lot of catch-up rugby that needs to be done from the four nations. And it says they are desperate to play the November tests, obviously the June-July tests, as well as the remaining six nations fixtures. Now, there's no, been, there's no official word on what's going to happen in this year for rugby going forward. There's a lot of talk of possibility of including rugby, bringing it back so that um, without crowds, etc., etc. But Bill Bimont, the new World Rugby Chairman, has a lot on his hands in order to try and get the support back. Now, this is obviously not just affecting Europe, it's affecting all the nations around the world. We know Australia has been hit the biggest out of all of them, but the nations... The four nations that participate in the British and Irish Lions Tour could face a deficit of £80 million should these matches not go ahead. So there's some dying times ahead for these teams. Fears of bankruptcy among Irish, Scottish and Welsh unions have reportedly led to discussion between officials about creating contingency plans to reschedule home fixtures um, next year as a top priority in effort to generate some much needed income. Now this would in turn force the 2021 Lions Tour to either be postponed or even scrapped entirely so that these guys can have the international games to stay afloat. It's already seen plenty of rugby games tournaments delayed from provincial to national um, and all of them are under severe, th severe threat of bankruptcy. So at the end of the day, we've got to do what's best for the sport to keep these teams afloat, whether we like it or not. Lions Rugby, there's so much history. We want it. I want it. And not only do I want it, I want it for the country because it's going to bring so much tourism to South Africa and generate a hell of a lot of income because it's a great tournament to have in. But in order for these nations to survive and to play their players, you know, if we don't have Scotland, Ireland, um, England and Wales, you're not going to have even a British-Irish Lions team. So we, we need to put players first, we need to put the welfare for first. And if we have to play catch-up international rugby in order to save these unions, then that's got to be the option that we need to take forward because we've, we've got to think of the nations and the players first. Hopefully it gets postponed, but at the rate... We're looking at postponements this year. Things are getting cancelled um, and it's obviously out of our hands. We don't know how long the pandemic's going to last. We don't know how long we're going to be on lockdown for. We don't know how long sport's going to be delayed for. But until then, these contingency plans need to be put in place in order to recover these nations. And I think catch-up rugby is the key. And I think going forward that needs to be the full-on goal from the start to finish from when sports back catch up on all international rugby because we know that's going to bring in a lot of revenue to the stadiums catch up finish six nations get june july in scrap it somewhere when i say scrap it put it in somewhere do november internationals if it has to be delayed to december january it gets delayed you know, we, we can make plans in order to get this sport going. And in February, we kick off New Six Nations. And maybe even sooner, we start off with the other, the, the June, July internationals. But let's hope this is the last option that they cancel it. But 2021 Lions Tour is now officially in doubt. Nothing's been confirmed yet. It's either going to be postponed or cancelled or it will go ahead. But at this stage, the four nations of the Lions are currently struggling and at the end of the day we need to think of wealth, player wealth, fair and obviously the nation, the unions to survive. That needs to come first. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and I'll see you real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.